back. Nation, we are testing Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Going to get us a new iPhone soon, but we're still using the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Still a very good phone. And, you know, I'll probably keep it long term anyways. Uh, this is the courtyard at the Marriott. Uh, we're in the parking lot here. I'm just pulling off here on the side, checking out the uh, networks. And Verizon's got some kick-ass capacity here. Uh, looks like we got a pretty damn impressive speed test here. Uh, 1.5 gigs on the downlink, 102 on the uplink, 23 ping, 3 jitter. And for the loaded latencies, we got 309 and 99 milliseconds, respectively. Uh, sometimes I like to check the, um, what do they call those things? Uh, the pack of loss, see if there's any of that. We got 0% there, uh, but lots of speed. Uh, let's see here. Let's run another test. Make sure that it is indeed the true results. I always recommend testing at least twice. Three or four times will get you what you're really looking for, just in case you get an anomaly. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's even better than your first test, you know? So, uh, But it looks like we are true here. Pretty close to the previous test. Uh, 1,481 megabits per second downlink, and we're pushing the century mark on the uplink. 103, 104, and the ping times pretty similar to the first test. 24 ping and 2 jitter, and then 303 and 102 for the loaded latencies. Good stuff there. Uh, what do you guys say we do a little bit of LT testing since there's still a lot of LT phones out there, right? And it's still the anchor of the network running NSA. All right, so what I recommend telling, this is what I tell folks, is, you know, when you get an iPhone, it's really easy. You can switch from 5G on to LTE. All right, and you'll see the LTE icon upper right hand corner. And now we can test that and see how the LTE side fares. Uh, typically in this market, Verizon does really nicely. Uh, they've got a really dense tower grid. They've got lots of small cells, you know, tall macros, rooftops. They got a nice, nice performing network here. It's actually really, really good. And you will see that we are cooking with gas even on the LTE side probably connected to band 48 to get the speed they do have quite a bit of bandwidth there uh, licenses they hold 30 megahertz and then they often use like 30 or 40 megahertz of unlicensed as well all right 503 down 40 on the up 33 ping four jitter and 273 and 168 for the loaded latencies let's check for packet loss you never know you gotta check but we didn't see it in the last test so i wouldn't expect any now yep we're at zero percent uh, so that's pretty good stuff. We'll run one more. LT impressing. You guys can see they got a really dynamic network here in the Cleveland market. Really, really good performer. Shout out to the engineers doing a nice job taking care of the Cleveland market. And doing pretty good in Ohio, just generally speaking. Uh, Verizon's got a really good network here. Uh, I would say that probably second best, or maybe the best in Ohio, is probably AT&T. It's pretty modern. They don't have as much 5G plus as Verizon has 5G ultra wideband. But it's pretty modern, it's got all the other bands, and it's pretty, pretty good performer too. Uh, T-Mobile is a really fast network here as well. Uh, so we're doing pretty nicely here in the CLE. Uh, but Verizon takes the cake, the most dynamic network in the market, and they really do some incredible things. You guys will see here at this hotel, there's like three other hotels here. So I'm at the courtyard, there's another one to my right, there's another one to my left, there's an office across the street, there's a Walmart, there's another apartment complex, Verizon continues to do the most when it comes to capacity and all types of different solutions and all types of frequencies, man. Really good testing there. Love what I'm seeing here from Verizon. Keep up the good work. Uh, the other carriers do just fine too. Nothing wrong with what they're doing. They're all really good as well. All right, so uh, tell me how Verizon is for you and your experience, LT and 5G Ultra Wideband. Let me know how they're performing and uh, I'm looking forward to your comments. So tell me what you think of my testing. Sound off in the comment section below. You all are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.